body bags were Horlies. So we don't with Asher again, another week on the body bags. The coolest channel on YouTube, if I do say so myself. Uh, not because of me, all the other cool cats on here, that's for sure. Um, but anyway, uh, flick I got for y'all this week is the movie Ticks from 1993. <clears throat> now this was a direct-to-video release. Um, that being said, so it was kind of on a uh, a managed budget. It wasn't super low budget, but you know, definitely I guess would classify as a low lower budget film. <clears throat> um, basic plot opens up with a cast of troubled teens. Um, they're in this like, I guess like, you know, help help group, so to say, uh, and they're doing this wildlife uh, trip together. So they're led by two camp counselors. And then uh, some of the kids, you got Alfonso Riviera, which I thought was funny, Carlton off of Fresh Prince, and uh, of course Seth Green, who's the man, done, of course, countless movies growing up, and Family Guy, and all kinds of animated voices, of course his own show, Robot Chicken. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, the two cat counselors, uh, it's a couple. Uh, they take these kids out into wildlife <clears throat> and they end up stumbling across some mutated ticks <laughs> basically uh, now these ticks are from uh, herbal steroids from local uh, pot farmers I thought it was kind of funny um, and of course the farmer does a fantastic job played by Clint Howard if y'all know uh, Ron Howard's brother uh, Ice Cream Man, countless uh, evil speed, countless good uh, horror under that man's belt. So, <clears throat> oh, you got ticks. Um, so yeah, that's the basic rundown of the plot. Got a whole lot there. Uh, said uh, what well, little acting's there. I have to work with. I thought it was a pretty good job. Um, it's being a direct video. Some of the dialogue, though, it does feel kind of slightly cheesy, maybe just a, a almost made-for-TV feel at points, I would say. Uh, but it's definitely not a made-for-TV movie. There's a decent amount of language, and uh, I love the gore effects in this one. A lot of green, gooey ooze going on. Uh, uh, things like this that just really make bug and creature flicks really work. Uh, it has things that like arachnophobia was missing like that. I think if arachnophobia had uh, amplified the goo and the slime a little bit more, I think that movie could have kicked even more ass. Nothing gets that flick. It's a pretty uh, solid movie, but uh, the ticks. So yeah, that the acting. Uh, I think it's a well job for what script they have to work with. Uh, I forgot to mention this. Flick was directed by Tony Randall. Uh, got a couple horror flicks under his belt. I think most notably, though, uh, Hellbound, Hellraiser 2. Really solid flick. So, so nothing uh, over the top special about this one, but just a solid uh, early 90s creature feature, really. Uh, good mutated bug flick. Um, honestly, one of my favorites of the you know, a couple, maybe a couple dozen I've seen so far. Really, uh, really fun flick, though. If I'd give it a rating, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Good, solid, uh, creature feature. Um, definitely not a boring flick. It has a good, steady pace. Keeps your attention the whole time. Um, but, uh, Nothing too over the top, just, you know, bits of cheese and fun here and there, and just a little fun ride, man. I, I highly suggest ticks. Till next week, y'all. Appreciate it.